Hey Ralph. Hi, uh, Nick. Here at uh, the Surge Stand, which is kind of a, a name that we kind of probably, many of us have sort of thought was, was a past sort of vintage, something that people could only buy you know, on the used market. But you're, you're rebuilding, you're working on the, uh, yes, bringing it back to life, right? Yes, exactly. We're bringing the original Surge modules back with today's technology, both in the original uh, for you format as well as for Eurorack. So they've all, they're all the old, um, so these are the old banana blocks. Exactly. This one you're going for more mini jacks. So exactly. This is Euro style, so it has typical mini stacks. But other than that, it's the same circuitry, and we have the exact same sound. And uh, the for you is with banana jacks as the classic version, uh, and uh, the eight rows. And uh, so are you build, are you tackling all of the surge modules, or are you starting with a selection? Well, the, the aim is to get more or less all of them, but there is some exception where due to uh, the chip situation, it's just not, the Wilson analog delay is uh, most likely not going to happen because the chips are just not available anymore. But uh, the core search modules are pretty much available by now. Oh, okay, so take me through, there's a patch running on this guy, right? So what's happening here? Uh, this, is, this is sort of a feedback drone patch where we use two filters and various inputs Sort of get a lot of modulation and some some sort of wind-like noise, and uh, have to be very careful because we get a lot of bass and frequency, so we might overdo it here. Actually, so this is just running from the filter it's, itself. You're not using any oscillators. No, then we have we have a couple of sorts. We're using the dual universal slope generator, which is an amazing module, which can act as an oscillator, but also as a filter or low pass gate or envelope generator. So it's uh, extremely versatile and uh, and uh, we improved this uh, quite a bit uh, for the audio range. So it's uh, it, it's a very nice oscillator now as well that can track up, up to four octaves uh, roughly. And so are these available now or are you kind of still building the range? Well, they are available now mostly in uh, as DIY kits and some of the modules already in built versions like the wave multipliers. And, and at the same time, we're working on expanding the range and um, so it's, uh, it's, there's still some gaps to be closed, but uh, quite a lot of ground is already covered. And so people can buy them via dealers or via surge-modular.com or? Yes, we have the random source website and also the surge-modular.com website is sort of the key point, but we're also working with dealers and uh, um, so it's availability and should increase. And what sort of price ranges are we talking about for these modules? Because they were never the most affordable. Yes, well the aim is now in the 4U region to have uh, one of these modules uh, in a built version should be around 500, 550 euros maybe. So this is roughly, roughly uh, half of what was asked for uh, in uh, not so uh, so fairly recent times and also if you compare it to the original price list of uh, 1982 and take into account inflation we think it's, uh, it's pretty attractive price point. Thank you very much. You're welcome.